What up, YouTube? It's Philly Yo, the trucker, man. I'm back with another video. And just like the title say, I'm not gonna say I gave it up forever, but yes, I'm back to being a company driver. I ain't gonna lie, I did tell myself if I ever went back to being, had to go back to being a company driver, that I was done with trucking, but eh, I changed my mind. I decided, let me try it out. I was hearing a lot of good things about uh, this company that I uh, went ahead and decided to come to. And let me give y'all a little briefing about it. So, here you go. Watch that truck. I was gonna, I was gonna uh, detail the whole orientation ordeal, but I decided I'm gonna wait till I come and take on my first assignment. So, here you go. This the company I decided to go with. That's right. I'm with Moy Trucking. They had a dedicated AB account. Things happened so fast. I put in my application uh, a couple of weeks ago. They called me for an interview. And uh, now nah, they didn't come for an interview. They asked me that I want the job. I came in and I accepted it. Uh, this was on a Friday when I told them I'm gonna go ahead and accepted it. They had me at orange. They sent me the bus ticket and I was at orientation by Monday. So things happened so fast. I didn't even get a chance to record none of the uh you know no stuff so here i go first day ed martin i got my first assignment i'm at the ab account it's a dedicated account coming out of houston texas so today i gotta run a load up you know i gotta run a load up to uh to the dfw area and let me let y'all check out the truck so y'all know i've been on operator for the past four years i just decided to go back company I really kind of got tired. I'm not going to ever say that it's not worth being an own operator. So please don't take this video as a do not buy your own truck. Don't be an own operator. It was a personal decision. I just wanted to get to a point to where I was just making some money, saving some money. Didn't have to worry about no equipment. But y'all check this out, man. Look at that. Look at that. I just did my pre-trip. Y'all see that? This is a brand new 2025 zero emission truck this is my first time driving a cng my first time driving a cng truck so there you go 2025 peter built never been driven i'm the first person to drive this truck with the company so i'm kind of excited about that i ain't gonna lie i've been on operator so i don't have had no real super new equipment besides my last truck when i was with a uh, long mountain that 2019 it was pretty clean so i checked this out super 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 duper singles when the truck was assigned to me friday i had really already did my preacher but y'all can see everything new we got disc brakes super singles i'm about to take this butt baby out on the road but yeah i'm on a dedicated account it got a uh, electronic apu y'all can see it's the casket bump it's the casket bump if you never had a cng truck this is where you do your fill up at you know what I'm saying? So that was kind of a new thing. Uh, let me take y'all to his, he go to the driver's side. Here y'all go. Y'all check that out. Look at that. Look, look how clean that engine is. Look, there's no dirt on it. This haven't been drove before. This is all clean. See that? I'm about to put this baby on the road, tell y'all how it is. But yeah, I decided to run with Martin. They had a pretty good deal on a dedicated account. And I had wanted to do OTR, but I've been local for so long. And when they told me about this dedicated account, I just went ahead and hopped on it. They got a little, if you was ever wondering, yeah, it ain't no space in here. So y'all could already see that really ain't gonna be able to roll like that. So that's all I can show you, no TV, no microwave. I just got my little bag with my little cooler and that is what it is, but yeah. So I'm gonna be vlogging my journey, man. I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel about this dedicated account. I just got my first load today. Just finished up on my pre-trip. So y'all can stay tuned. Uh, like I said earlier, I really just got, I really just got tired. I kept having bad luck. I got the long mount truck. I ain't got the long mount truck. I couldn't find a company to lease on with. Y'all seen my previous video. So I was just like, you know what, it's the end of the year. So you got the holidays coming up, birthday coming up. I just didn't feel like dealing with all, you know, with all the headache that comes with being on our 
because it can't get expensive. Rates are down. You're not working out the ports. They're about to go on strike tomorrow. If they don't strike a deal by 11.59 tonight, it's gonna be a strike tomorrow. So I just feel like, I didn't feel like dealing with that. I done pulled so much money out of my savings. I didn't have to sell some of my stocks, you know. I, I didn't want to deal with all that. So I'm like, it's the end of the year. I really just wanted to get to a space where I just drive the truck, don't have to worry about paying for no equipment, no breakdown, no nothing like that. So uh, come January, I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do this. But I told myself I'm gonna do this for 90 days. So I got October, November, December. I'm gonna do this for the last three months of the year and I'm gonna see how I like it. If I like it, I might ride it out for the next year, just get to some savings. You know, as a company driver, one thing about it, you can just make your money and save it. So I'm gonna see how this account work out because it's growing. They barely got this account two months ago. So it's a very, fairly new account. I'm gonna see how everything go. And then, yeah, this is, check that out. Just did the pre-trip, turned the truck on, and now I'm waiting on the air pressure to build up. I'ma do my little air test. Once my air pressure build up, I'ma do the app test that's gonna end my pre-trip. And uh that's it. So hey, follow me for my journey. If you haven't already been following me, you know, I'ma let y'all know one thing about me, y'all can watch my videos. I'ma always speak the real. So I heard a lot of good things about Martin. So I'm hoping that Martin don't disappoint me because I hated being a company driver. So Maybe more than change my mind and I might run company for a couple of years. We're gonna see how it go. I was in, actually thinking about giving up trucking. That's why I said I'm gonna give it. I was gonna give up trucking in 2025. So I said, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come to more and see how everything goes in these next 90 days. If I uh, if I feel like they the same BS, then I'm gonna hop out the truck. You're gonna see me on another journey. I'm thinking about doing electrician or welding. I actually went to school for welding before. So that's one of my trades. I just need to get refreshing. But uh, if I like this, if everything work out and I like this, I I'm probably gonna stay in the truck, you know? I stay inside the truck and, you know, it is what it is. But I hope you like my new equipment. Follow me on my journey. I'm Ed Martin. So uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Any questions, once again, ask the question. If I don't respond right away, I always try to go back and respond to my questions. But please follow me, follow me. Subscribe to my channel. Any questions you wanna know, I'm gonna keep you posted. I'm new to the company, so I can't say too much. You know, they do not have in cab cameras. They have the out cameras with the dry wires. So you don't have to worry about a camera facing inside the cab, but they do have like some smart technology that will determine like if you run stop signs or red lights and stuff. And I do believe that's like ground for, uh, you know, ground for uh, termination. So let me set my little, let me get everything ready. You know, Bluetooth my phone. Let me set my, my radio dials and everything. Get everything situated and uh, y'all follow me. All right.